Israeli officials expressing their strong condemnation following the United Nations Committee vote on Friday, seeking an advisory opinion from the International Court of Justice on the illegality of what is called Israeli prolonged occupation, settlement and annexation of the Palestinian territory. Israeli outgoing Prime Minister Yair Lapid rejected the move, calling it a one-sided Palestinian move that undermines the basic principles for resolving the conflict and potentially harming any possibility for a future process. Outgoing Defense Minister Benny Gantz called the Palestinian initiative as an own goal, which will only distance them from any political achievements. Meanwhile, Palestinian Foreign Minister Riyad al-Malaki welcomed the vote, calling the resolution a diplomatic and legal breakthrough that will open a new era for holding Israel accountable for its war crimes. Israeli Ambassador Gilad Erdan disagrees. The Palestinians are exploiting the ICJ as a weapon of mass destruction in their jihad war of Israel demonization. By calling to involve the International Court of Justice, the Palestinians are decimating any chances of reconciliation. 98 countries voted in favor of the move, while 17 voted against, among them the U.S., Australia, Austria, Canada, Italy, and Germany. The U.N. resolution also calls for an investigation into Israeli measures aimed at altering the demographic composition, character, and status of the holy city of Jerusalem, and says Israel has adopted discriminatory legislation and measures. Many European countries abstained. Among those who voted in favor were Israel's new allies, Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates, and also Ukraine. Israeli ambassador to Ukraine called Kiev's decision disappointing, warning that it will not help to build trust between the two countries. This amid pressure from Ukraine to extend Israeli support in its war with Russia. Uh, it might be uh, uh, some kind of uh, expression of uh, anger and dissatisfaction that we know about, that the Ukrainians have expe had expectations that Israel would uh, uh, give them more military support and a different kind of military support, and that those hopes have been uh, again and again disappointed. The issue must still get the final approval from the full United Nations General Assembly expected next month before going to The Hague.